Praise the Lord. This is Pepper San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for always coming back and thank you for obeying the leading of the Spirit to click to this video. I know that you are going to be blessed. Please, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Today, I want to share with us things that men should look out for in a woman. When you see any of these things run for your life, she is not your kingdom wife. She is not your kingdom spouse. It's a danger sign. The first type of women, the first category of women that men should run away from are women who don't know God. The Bible says, he who doesn't, whoever does not know God, does not know God, does not know love because God is love. So a woman who doesn't know God cannot love you effectively, cannot love you the way God expects her to love you. She might not be able to do all the things that God expects of a wife because marriage was designated by God. Marriage was instituted by God. So a woman who doesn't know God is not a good sign, especially, I'm talking most especially, I'm addressing, if you are a Christian. If the, if the two of you are unbelievers, then fine. You are, like, you, are, you are like birds of the same feather. You can flock together. But then, if not, if you are a Christian, if the woman does not know God, she is not for you. The second category of women that you've got to be aware of Women with leaky mouths, women who can't hold a secret, women who can hold their tongue. They will, they will disrespect you because they, they felt hurt. They will talk to you, they will shout at you, they will insult you, and they will take everything that happens in your family and spread it out there. Such women are a danger sign. They are going to use the power that they have in their tongue to destroy you more than to make you. They are going to use the power that they have because the woman's, the woman's words have power. The woman's tongue has power. They are going to use that to destroy your marriage rather than, except you are a man that likes trouble in yourself and you are okay with it, then fine. If you don't feel any problem, but if you are a man that likes peace and likes calm and likes to live a secret, a secret life, personal life then that is not a woman when you see that she cannot hold her tongue is an exit sign for you the third category of women that men should be aware of are hurting women these are women who have been hurt in their previous relationships women who have gone through heartbreak and have not healed from that heartbreak. So the, 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 the relationship that died in their lives, they didn't bury it. They are carrying around the stench from the dead relationship and they are emitting a fragrance of that, of that dead relationship. It, it is repulsive. It's going to send you. It's going to frustrate you. Because at the end of the day, they are going to bleed on you, whereas you are not the one who hurt them. They are going to bleed on you, whereas you are not the one who wounded them. Because most of such women, they are in a relationship with you, not because they really love you, not because, but one, either because they want to revenge on their ex, or because they want to prove a point to their ex, or it always has something to do with their ex. Or because they want to tell themselves that they are better than what their ex said that they were. That they were. They, there is always something to relate you and connect you to their ex. So at every point in time, they are comparing you to their ex. You are going to be bled upon. Whereas you were not the one who hurt them. When you realize that a woman is still hurting, the same applies to the man though. Wait, but when you realize that a woman is still hurting, give her time. Tell her to heal first. No matter how much you love her, no matter how much you want to marry her, let her deal with her past. Let her have closure. Let her deal with her past. Hallelujah. The next category of women that you should run away from are women who love your bank account more than they love you. Women who are with you just for money. They make demands 24-7. At every point in time, they are in need. Those are not 
the kind of women that you want to be with. That's not the kind of person you want to spend the rest of your life with. As a matter of fact, that you can't even count upon them, count on them because the moment they see someone who is richer than you, who is more generous than you, who can give more than what you have been offering, they will leave you without regret. They will leave you without looking back. So when you see such a woman, such a lady that comes in every now and then, she's making demands endlessly. It's an exit sign. Last but not the least, women who just cannot stay in one place. Women who just cannot sit in one place. They just cannot even stay at home. They would rather be out visiting visiting their friends. They would rather be out drinking somewhere. They would rather be out celebrating something somewhere, partying somewhere. Women who just cannot sit put in one place. Those are women, who, they, they are not wife material yet. They might, they, they, they will become, they might become when God works that out in them. But for the meantime, if you are looking to settle down at the moment, then those ones are not the, 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 the kind of woman you want. That is an indication. Because they will not stay with you. They can't even stay. Some of them are even bored even to stay with one man for long. So they can't even stay with you. They will cheat on you or they will leave you for another guy. Because they can't stay. Marriage will be boring to them. They, your marital home will be boredom. They will feel like they have been imprisoned. So until God works out that thing, that weakness, or that attribute, that attitude in them, they are not marriage material. They are not good for marriage yet. Not like they will never be, but they are not yet. I hope this bless someone excuse. I hope this bless someone. I hope this gave someone more highlight to, make, to help you in choosing the right wife. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he be gracious to you. Shalom.